After 23 minutes to 8, you'll be particularly interested in our next item if you're a lawyer and if you'd like to work on important international cases involving environmental issues on one condition, the fee will be zero. There's always a catch, as every lawyer knows. James Thornton, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank and you. And welcome. You're a lawyer with an organisation and founder of an organisation called Client Earth. What is it? Client Earth is a group of uh, top international lawyers who work within a charity. Client Earth is a charity so that we bring uh, important cases uh, on behalf of the environment and people. And we also lobby uh, in the EU Parliament and in member states' parliaments to improve the laws. We're always looking to make laws better and then to enforce them. Even if you get lawyers to work for free, which is uh, exceptional enough in itself, um, you, you still need money. Where does the money come from? The money comes from uh, charitable foundations. Uh, so it's, uh, <coughs> it's all charitable money. Very recently, we, uh, we started getting uh, some money from the EU, which... Uh, gives money to a lot of green groups to improve civil society. And I know that you're, you're based in London and Warsaw, but uh, a lot of this springs from the kind of work you've been doing uh, on environmental cases in the U.S. What kind of work? There, as a, as a very young lawyer, I, I took on um, what was really, what should have been the work of the Justice Department during the Reagan administration. They stopped enforcing all of the environmental laws. They couldn't repeal them, which they would have liked to have done, but they stopped enforcing them. So uh, in an organization there called the Natural Resources Defense Council, also made up of lawyers working for the environment, as a very young lawyer with myself, a chemist, and a secretary, uh, we started bringing cases under the Clean Water Act against companies which were violating the law, discharging a lot of pollutants into streams, destroying the streams. Within six months, I had 60 cases going in federal court, uh, and we won all of the cases. Ultimately, a couple of years later, um, we were so successful that we actually embarrassed the Reagan administration back into enforcing the law. It's a really good example of what citizens can do. What brought you to Europe? Uh, my, my partner uh, and a lifelong interest uh, in Europe. I've always wanted to live here, uh, and uh, I'm an Irish citizen. So uh, being here with you today is particularly exciting, and working with Irish lawyers is something I'm really looking forward now, to doing. And, you, and you're holding a, a seminar to tell people, uh, lawyers, about the kind of work you do and the kind of uh, help you could do with. And we'll come on, that's later this afternoon in Dublin. We'll come give details of that in a moment. Um, what kind of issues are you, presumably that you're involved in lobbying, as I understand it, and you're also involved in, in bringing legal actions. Uh, in legal actions, what kind of thing are you involved in? Well, at the moment, uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, the, uh, the EU uh, is a pretty opaque. Uh, it's non-transparent to citizens. It sits on a lot of information. Uh, and we've just sued uh, the EU in the European Court of Justice to get some really important documents uh, about biofuels. Uh, biofuels, you know, you turn corn and so on into gas you can put in the tank. Their policy, it looks like, will destroy rainforests uh, take away food out of the mouths of poor people and so on. And we think uh, that if we get the documents, we'll be able to change the policy. So that's one important case. You've been involved in uh, uh, opposing coal fired, uh, new coal-fired plants in the UK. What's that? Yes, that's right. Uh, about the worst thing you can do for the environment right now is to build new coal-fired power stations. Uh, we're all pretty aware that uh, there's too much CO2 in the atmosphere, and coal-fired power stations are one of the best sources of CO2 you could build. So if you wanted to heat up the atmosphere, you should build coal-fired power stations. There are other ways to get energy. Uh, so what are you doing? Uh, we brought a big action against uh, the UK last year uh, when it was on the threshold of authorizing 10 new coal-fired power stations. So the government has now turned around. Uh, we've, we've won. We've pushed them into a corner, and they said we will authorize no new coal-fired power stations unless they capture their carbon. Now... You're looking for people to do what, and on what terms and conditions, apart from not getting a fee? Yeah, well, uh, you get a lot of satisfaction. And uh, what uh, we hope uh, to do today is to describe in, in more detail uh, the program uh, we're working on to encourage Irish lawyers to uh, become involved and uh, to work with us on the common fisheries policy, for example, which would have a really big impact uh, in Ireland. What do you hope to achieve with the fisheries policy? To radically transform it. How? The, uh, let me just say first that the common fisheries policy is, is a shambles, and the EU fisheries are in worse shape than any fisheries elsewhere in the world. Uh, the, the reason for that is the law. Uh, the regulatory system is a bad one, so that fishermen, for example, have to throw away almost half of what they catch. Uh, many of your listeners will know that in detail. So we've come up with a system um, which is based on credits for fishermen uh, that will allow them to fish any sort of fish they want 
and will allow them to land all of their fish. One of the things we want to do in working with Irish lawyers and working in Ireland is to meet with Irish fishermen to make sure that the system we're proposing actually meets their need because we're trying to make the system sustainable for both fishermen and fish. All right. So this uh, seminar for lawyers today is where and when? It's at 4.30 and it's at the distillery building on Church Street. And anybody's welcome, solicitor, barrister? And members of the public. Everyone is welcome. Okay. Well, thank you very much for telling us about it. That's James Thornton of Client Earth. And